this is Fee and uh, welcome to my channel. I have a little bit of a China Mail, Amazon Mail unboxing. Now this little one is from AliExpress and the big one, um, as you can see, it's an LED tracer board, is from Amazon. I will, both of these will go into be put into demonstration at the same time. And my apologies, I'm looking for my tool I use to open boxes. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I will show both of these um, in use. The first one is this little one. So this is actually called the can't read that print. New fix tool for DIY diamond painting, cross stitch tools, diamond embroidery accessories, large capacity diamond painting kit. Right. What it is, it's a, a straight edge, I suppose, to help assist with getting your edges of your uh Diamonds uh, in nice line. Whoops, there we go. Popping. As you can see, this is in Aussie dollars. I paid $6.32. This is from Moon Crescent Official Store. If I track it back down to the US, um, it was a $4.40 US. Okay. Um, Just trying to work out where I can see it. So this arrived yesterday, the 28th of February. It was shipped. Hang on. I ordered it 16th of February. So that's 12 days, which isn't too bad. They sh also shipped it on the 16th of February. Um, and yeah, received today, uh, yesterday, apologies, so it's the 27th of February. Okay, so I've had, I've seen some people on Facebook with this process picture up to say, what is it? Um, I'm just trying to find a way in and I can't, so we'll need the scissors. Asking, this, asking if this had been, if anybody else had used it. Uh, at the time, I'd already ordered mine and was just waiting for mine to arrive. Now, there was a choice of white or yellow. I'm not a big one for the white. Okay, so here we go. It's almost a, a spatula type thing. But what you can see is, get it, can I get some light on there? Hang on, I'll try and get it to... Shine some light on that. Okay, what I'm trying to, you can just see it. What we've got is, it's rough surface up to there and that is smooth and that is a very, very fine point. Actually pretty sharp. If um, it could give something like a paper cut. So what the plan, what you do with this, I'd say is just straightening up your, your beads like that, which I will demonstrate soonish as soonish as in it will be in this video okay so the next one is what's in the box so this uh, this is a Voilamart A3 copy board ultra thin LED tracing board with dimmable, dimmable brightness I already had one I still have it I will show you what has happened. I had an, I've got an A3 one, I've got an A4 one, but the A3 one that I currently have has broken around the switch. And I initially thought when people were saying about their, their switches, the issue with them was actually the cord here, but it's actually inside, which is the issue. So I'll actually zoom in on that so you can, I'll show you the damage section 
um, I was hoping it was repairable but it's not so $63.99 from Amazon Prime and it took longer than expected um, it was actually due eight days ago uh, it arrived yesterday but what I will say is it arrived late through no fault of Amazon Prime or even the delivery company. Just bear with me while I open this. And why I say that, it's tuck, tuck, I'm kidding here. <laughs> uh, hang on, where are we going? I'll get there eventually. So what happened? And I know I'm in train control and I know what damage a train derailment can do. But in South Australia, there was a train derailment which has caused delays to all packages. Sorry, I just can't get this into the camera while I open this bit up. Okay. Yeah, so it caused a lot of all all packages that were being shipped from the eastern states to the west coast um, anything coming by train it was stopped because the derailment even stopped um, the Indian Pacific which is actually a pleasure, pleasure um, train um, it even stopped then uh, so yeah so here we go um, but do it that way so we can open it up and still keep it under the camera. Rightio. So what have we got? Sizes. Uh, so I, there's actually, you can get an A2, an A3 and an A4. Um, to understand sizing, A4 is a piece, standard piece of paper like this. An A3 is basically two, and an A2 is the equivalent to two A3s there and two A3s there. So that's how you can tell the size. So if you got an A2, it would be four times the size of a piece of paper, standard A4 piece of paper, um, which outside dimension... Uh, 64 centimetres by 47 centimetres. So a 25.2 and 18.5 inches um, if you're looking at it in comparison to diamond paintings. Whereas this one is 18 and a half inches by 14.2. Okay, so usage, copying, painting, rah 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 Precautions, handle with care. Do not use sharp metal objects. Protect with the surface from scratches. Warranty will be void if tamper with. After use, always store in a safe, dry place. Um, mine's just about permanently on my easel at the moment when I use it. Okay, so we got a nice big carry bag. That'll come in handy. And the reason why I picked this one, it's actually, I know in the US you don't recognise it, but that's how Australian power plugs are. But what it has is a plug-in point, so it's not going to pull away from the actual device. Uh, a metal clip, and oh, that's actually quite heavy in comparison. My other one wasn't that heavy. Okay, so let's get to the box and pull this out. Uh, do I have? I don't. Okay. Oh, I like the look of this one. Radio. Look at the back first. We've got four pads for the feet. In front of it, we've got the power switch. We've actually got centimeters on the inside. Zero to thirty-two and zero to forty-two. The difference is this little power at this point here there is no pulling out of that that pulling that out of the light pad 
So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to pull out my old A3 light pad, which looks exactly the same, absolutely exactly the same. Actually, my old light pad's a little bit shorter, but a little bit squatter. It was longer. Right, hopefully, I will be able to show you this. But what I'm going to do is lift. What I'm going to show you is in here. Okay, it's going to zoom for me. Uh, okay, let's see if I can get this. Bear with me. I really do want you to see what's happened. So here it is. What's happened is this black has lifted and the actual metal inside at the top has actually broken. It's split. So no matter how much jiggling around I did with the power cord um, or even squeezing, I tried to squeeze and clamp it down. None of that worked. I did, yeah, I tried to do what I can, um, but yeah, no success. So this one is basically useless. Um, there's no way I can use that one again. Okay, so this one here though, that cord is permanently there. There's no pulling it in or out. And when I plug that in, it's going to stay plugged in. So, let's do the essentials. And, okay, let's just say this. I am tired and not able to see straight. There we go. I've just come off night shift. It's just about 8 o'clock in the morning. And I've just come off night shift, so and I've just done three nights and it's nearly bedtime. Okay, so just bear with me while I plug this in under the desk. So remember, this is not a USB plug-in, it's direct to the power board. There we go. Rightio, so here we go. Power board, it's plugged in and that's not going to come out. So that's, that's where I'm really wrapped. And I've just realised that you guys are crooked. I am sorry about that. Sorry, taking for a ride. And bring that up. Okay. So that's it there, dimmable and it's very easy. Switch just pressing and works really well. What I will do is I have the A4 light pad. So you can see the comparison. Hang on. Uh, I'm just trying to get something to show you a comparison. Because you can't see that. So there's your comparison there of uh, the A4. What I will do is I'll turn that one onto the first and turn that one onto the first. They are about the same, but I will say that the light you get about an inch more, uh, I'm sorry, about two to three centimeters more light up top. Um, just going to press it two. They're pretty much in line with and three. Cool. That's very bright. Okay, so they're pretty well much in line with each other in their colour brightness wise um, that I've, I've got here. So, next thing's next. Pop that one up. I keep that one just out of reach, just where I can grab it if I really need to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this little gadget out and get into use. And do a. Geez, I'm not organised for this. 
I was organised for the unboxing, but I've just decided that what I'm going to do is it's just a little bit of a whip, and so I can use that tool. I do have the painting out that I was going to work with, just not the tools. Okey dokey, bear with me. Oh, I just need to get the correct tools out. Um, so this is actually from my fairy and the tiger case which I have taken that to work with me a couple of times so the case that's the reason why I've got that one because it's so much easier to carry rightio so this is take that down dark flower cat and uh, one, two, and three. Actually, you can see the design there. So that's Dark Flower Cat. I'm just going to do a little bit of a whip. So I will zoom you in. I've only I've done the unboxing and the drill setup. for this and I just need to grab a tray here's one I prepared earlier oops yet again sensitive on the um, on the edge there right here where's my bead at right so I'm going to try this out um, on here first, and I do believe, oh beautiful, here we go, okay. So here we go, I'm going to take you for a bit of a ride, so you can see what I'm doing. Because what that just did for me was absolutely brilliant. Sorry about this while I jiggle you around. And I'm actually going to move the camera as well. Sorry guys if you get queasy. Okay. So what I've just... This is actually going... In between. So this is how fine and it's not even sticking. Can you see how I've just gotten those to line up? So I don't, I think this is more for after you've um, put your drills down. Look at how that's just done that. And that's just ever so lightly. Um, I'm just trying to get that to a position where I can see and you can see. Okay. So I'll just do a couple of these. I'll miss some and I'll go down and do the bottom. And look at that look at that and the one that i missed which was that one i believe so that has now put them in an amazing line after i've drilled them that one looks quite up. holy cow okay i'm going to pause this here i'm going to actually instead of doing a whip um, for this, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to grab another diamond painting that I'm working on and I'm going to work on a few more rows of that to see the effect on a bigger area. So um, I'll be right back and it will only be a second for you. Okay, so I'm back and I am so excited with this tool. So I haven't done anything to this one yet. This is... Um, my fairy and tiger that I've been working on although you can't see it properly because I'm so zoomed in there's the tiger this is a section that I've just been working on this morning so I'm just going to run that along the edge there okay and now I'm going to run that along the second one And 
to see how we go. I'm wondering whether it's more not necessary for bigger areas. So I'm just going to run this backwards and forwards over a few rows. I haven't looking at the camera, so I don't know whether that's making any difference. Okay. And I've just picked up on one less one. I don't know if that's made a difference or not. Okay, so what I want to do is go along this way now from the bottom. You're actually seeing the straight line coming through. Okay, and that's just picked up one that's not in place properly, which is actually a good thing. Now I'm actually watching where this blade's going more than I'm watching the camera, so I can't, and the camera zoomed in really close. So I'm hoping that the camera is giving a really good effect of this because I know with my eyes I am seeing this coming a lot better. Okay, so you can see where I've done this area and how much that's neatened up. You can still see some gaps which are okay, but they're better off in a line, whereas I've only done up and down here not across. So what I'm going to do, just as an example, I'm going to put the boat above there. Actually, I'll leave that one there. I won't go, and we'll co I'll cover that, and I'll go below and straighten this up, and I'll set we'll do a comparison from there to there. Remembering that I've already gone up and down there, I'm just going to go across here. That one. It's actually also helping me see ones that are just not quite there. Okay. Oh, wow. What do you think? Do you know what? Do you know how a lot of us enjoy organising things, getting things in place? This feels so good to just put a straight line on. So let's just go back and do it there again. So I just looked a bit out. Okay, so how does this compare to up there? I do find that, that just that there is a lot neater. I'll probably still do some more. But you can see once I do it, you can see how they're forming going into line. And I don't think it'll work on that very edge there. But let's go over there. Let's have a look. Oh, I am so impressed with this tool. So impressed with this tool. How good does that look? Ignore that line there, okay? Ignore that first line there because I'm not being able to push it up. So there we go. But how good does that look? Wow. Wow, okay. So that is, that's actually on, I will say this, this is on, this diamond painting is Heartful Diamonds, which um, their drill quality is so close to what I'd say Ever Moment is. So 
these this is this is really good quality drills really good canvas really good symbols um, so there we go there with the heart full diamonds I'm going to grab my next one so just cover your eyes for a sec while you get the bright light Okay, oh, that's really bright. Right, next one here is actually one that I'm working on. Hang on, I am going to move this light pad across because I've got too much white showing. There we go. So this is a uh, Groot Ever Moment I'm working on. So that's this guy here. So this is the Ever Moment. You just about always tell an ever moment the if it's got a 310 in it, the 310 is a heart. Okay. What you can see here, and this is a good one for me to test it on, is I haven't, um, I've got a symbol still yet to fill up. But I'm going to test it on those lines and see how I go with those that have I have done and see if that's lining them up better. So we all know the drill quality of ever moment the, you know there's it's a the drill quality of ever moment is it's the best I've come across and there we go I don't know whether it's making that those lines any straighter because they're um, not full uh, um, I think this is more a finishing tool, a correcting tool when finished by the look of it. Whereas if I put it on here, bring that down. Sorry, guys. And I know with the dark colours, it's pretty hard to. See. In a way it's hard to see, but in a way it's not. You can see the line that I'm doing where I'm getting these in a line. And I just picked up another one that's not up. I'll just go along this way a bit. But yeah, this, um, this tool uh, looks like definitely a correcting tool or a straightening tool for once you have completed your diamond painting and it will get help you get them all nicely straight and I know ever moments pretty straight anyway with their because of their quality and how many times do I have to say that I don't know I <laughs> just do <laughs> um, it's not doing much on the ones where I'm still working on the area where I'm still working on doing a little bit but not much right. but yeah I think this yeah definitely this would be a tool for when you've completed I mean I suppose it has straightened these up a little bit better but yeah definitely um, for there now so that's on squares so I've done it on a full block I've worked on a, just an area that I'm halfway or bit working through the next one is rounds. Oh, so this is this is one that I unboxed ages ago. So this is the full round peacock that I got from Wish. And oh, you can see. <laughs> okay, so my dots are not quite that uh, fantastically straight. So I'm just gonna run this along okay. it does help it does actually help me pick up the ones that aren't sitting flat too okay so I just picked up that round that's not <laughs> that round was placed upside down okay we're all guilty of that aren't we he's placing him down upside down okay 
Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on. There we go. Better light there. And I don't know whether you're seeing a difference or not. I'm hoping you are. I'm actually being able to see. So if we look that side, you're pretty good uniform there. Whereas this side, they're not. So even rounds, use it for rounds for straightening them up. Um, post drilling, I don't know about during drilling, but okay. Just so I've done, I suppose, up to there by the look of it. What I'll do is just go across a few rows. Oh wow, okay. This tool will be my new best friend when I finish diamond painting off. Because, okay, um, I'll just do up to those two reddish, but you can see the difference on these lines. You can see that the smoothness of it, it's And what I'm actually doing now, I'm actually not going next one, next one. I'm going two and one. Obviously, I've just received this. But look at that. That has just absolutely straightened those up. So for those of you, you can see here, like I'm, I'm never straight with my rounds. Never have been. But that's just incredible when you look at how my rounds usually end up and you can look at where I've used this tool so even on rounds even on rounds um, just let's see how we go just on that flower and that's just straightening up those just the up horizontal sorry vertical because that's up vertical is up and down and I'm seeing that just huge difference. Look at what that does. And the only drills that I've displaced, I'd say by the look of it at this stage, have been ones that I haven't had down properly. But there we go. Look at how much neater that is. Wow. Okay. So, in a nutshell of the unboxing of my two items, I can be really, 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 really excited about the light pad, but I've already had one. The big excitement with that is the fact that the cable's not going to come apart. The big, big one on this is this guy here that I got from AliExpress. I will put the link to both of these there, but remembering that this is the new fix tool for diamond painting cross stitch tools. So um, there was yeah there was you yellow or white um, that you could see. The link will be there. That's currently yet $4 US per piece. And uh, definitely, definitely worth every single cent. Um, if I had known it was going to be, excuse me while I, I put you back to a normal size. Um, I wish I'd come across this tool ages ago love it love it love it love it love it i will yeah i will be really enjoying using this tool um and i'll probably do it when i do some finish offs of diamond paintings but definitely worth it definitely worth it big thumbs up to this so thank you for watching my um 
what was going to be a short unboxing <laughs> it's taken a little bit longer than expected but I think that's because of the excitement of this tool it's actually quite easy to handle and I'm just actually feeling the edge of that that has actually lifted up some of the sticky so I'd keep an eye on that I can feel sticky on the edge of that so some of the glue it's obviously it's lifted up but yeah no nah, love 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 it and I could probably sit and do this for a good couple of hours and not even diamond paint because I'm watching things go so well into shape okay so thank you for subscribing please thumbs up thumbs down let me know what you think if you purchase the tool put comments down below and let let us know what we what you think um, it's always good for other people that have used it or use these tools to let others know um, so yeah I am really wrapped with both but so impressed with this tool for four bucks or four dollars forty US six dollars something I paid in Aussie definitely worth it you might probably find something similar to it probably at local hardware store um, but yeah this is nice and easy to find and didn't have to leave the house to get it so yep yeah, please uh, like thumbs up thumbs down put a comment I don't necessarily respond to every comment. I might give you a thumbs up or a heart to let you know that I've read it. Um, some comments I don't believe really need me to respond to. Um, but know that I am reading the comments when I do put a thumbs up and a heart on it. So yeah, please uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, I'm getting, I'm just over the 300 mark now which I'm really wrapped about and um, by all means please tick the bell I always try something new all the time uh, for people to check out so yeah thank you for watching and I'll uh, chat to you next time bye